So, you decided to take the plunge and buy Temtem, the brand new game that has a lot of similarities to Pokemon. And of course, just like Pokemon, has one of the toughest decisions as you start your journey. Which starter do you take? Well, in today's video, we're going to be going over a guide which gives you the strengths and weaknesses to each of the starter Temtem. Picking the right Temtem at the beginning according to your playstyle will be important as matching playstyle and Temtem will result in a better and more enjoyable journey across the different islands in this brand new game. For that reason, I've prepared this Temtem Starters Guide. So, if you are excited for today's video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Make sure to drop a comment which is your favourite starter of Temtem. And of course, subscribe if you're brand new. I'm going to be doing a bunch more Temtem content and Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, the Temtem starters. The aspects of each Temtem at the beginning like their type, what they're strong and weak against, and their stats will be vital to make the choice. In this guide though, I have listed all the aspects of each Temtem to help you make the choice. So the three Temtems available at the start are Crystal, Smazzy and Hoochick, all with their own different abilities and powers and they're all really really cool Temtem to start your journey with. I do just quickly want to say though that all three of these Temtem will be available later on in the game, but of course, just like Pokemon, Picking the one at the very start is going to be vital on how well you do in this game. So, first up we're going to be going over Crystal. Now Crystal is a well-rounded starter, having balanced base stats and a set of strong abilities. It's pretty much got the best of both worlds. At the start, it will be equipped with two physical abilities and can deal considerable damage to opponents despite its primary stats being in defense and HP. At the start of the game, Crystal Temtems will be very, very rare to find, so having one in your squad can give you a great advantage, especially because it is also quite strong against a couple of enemies that you will be coming up against early on in the game. So, let's go over Crystal stats. It is of course the Crystal type, and as previously mentioned, are very rare to find at the start of the game. So it is super effective against the electric and the mental type Temtem. However, it is ineffective against fire and earth Temtems. Of course, the whole weaknesses and strengths, the whole Temtem types is quite difficult to get your head around. It is a little bit different than Pokemon, but I will be making a video soon going over type matchups just to help you guys out if you are serious about getting into Temtem. However, it is resistant to mental, toxic and electric types so it does have quite a few resistances which is very very nice although it is actually weak to fire earth and melee types so it resists three different types but it is also weak to three different types too so where can you catch this temtem well of course you can start with it it is one of the three starter choices but it can also be caught later at the mines of quetzal on tukma island this also evolves into Sherald at level 30. I'm pretty sure that these three Temtem have a third evolution, but they just haven't been released yet. Anyway, next up we're going over Smazzy. Now Smazzy has a very high attack and speed stat, but these stats do not make up for its very low defense stat. Smazzy's strongest move is Uppercut, which can deal up to 80 damage to opponents. Most of the abilities are highly prioritized because of high base speed stat. However, Smazzy is definitely going to give you a little bit of trouble at the start of the game. I chose this in the alpha version of the game and pretty much all of my attacks were resisted. Um, so I'm sure it will be good later on in the game. But for the start, it isn't the best to use because it's good against Crystal type Temtem. And like I said earlier... Crystal Temtem are very difficult to come up against at the start of the game. Anyway, Smazzy stats. It is the melee type Temtem. It is effective against Earth and Crystal types. It is ineffective against Mental and Melee types. It resists Melee types, so obviously it resists itself. And then it's weak to Mental and Digital types. Digital type being kind of like the most broken type in this game. 
from what I've seen so far. It's the Temtem that your rival has at the very beginning that pretty much just one-shots you and you just can't win that battle. Anyway, where do you catch Smazzy? So, of course, again, it is just another starter choice, but it can be later caught at Arbury Island, which is currently inaccessible in early access. So you will be able to get Smazzy later on, but like I say, you just you can't get it yet. It's early access. So I'm pretty sure the only starter that you can get is Crystal, but of course, Smazzy and Hoochick will be available later on down the line. Anyway, it does also evolve into Baboon at level 29. So obviously Crystal is the Temtem that evolves the latest at level 30. However, last but not least, we are going to be going over Hoochick. Now Hoochick is a mental type Temtem. As mental Temtem are quite rare, so choosing it may be a viable option. Although the playstyle is somewhat trickier to master. Both of its starter techniques, Sire Wave and Hypnosis have one hold. That basically means that you'll have to wait a turn before you can use them at the start of the battle. Moreover, at the start, Hoochick may feel less rewarding as the strategy you will use becomes very repetitive due to a few numbers of starting abilities. However, there is a decent reward for sticking to this Temtem as once you unlock Beta Burst, which is one of the best moves so far in the game that I've come across, it is a special move that inflicts up to 100 damage, which is going to be super useful because Temtem is a lot harder than Pokemon and you're going to be struggling on the first route. So when you do unlock Beta Burst, probably before the first dojo, it's going to be handy. Like You're going to be praying to the Lord that that is going to help you out, which it will. Anyway, this new technique is worth the wait and can be used with hold techniques to further diversify your battle plans. So let's go over Hoochick. It is of course the mental type, which again, like I said previously in the video, is a very rare Temtem to find. It's effective against neutral and melee type Temtem. It is ineffective against crystal types. So if you haven't already realized, the Temtem starters do follow the same pattern as the Pokemon starters in which they are all good against each other, just like fire is good against grass, which is good against water. That is the same with these Temtem starters, where Crystal is good against the Mental type, the Mental type is good against the Melee type, and then the Melee type is good against the Crystal type. So, again, just works like the Fire, Water, Grass situation with Pokemon. Anyway, let's go back to Hoochick. It is, of course, the Mental type, like previously mentioned. It is effective against Neutral and Melee types. It is ineffective against Crystal types. It resists neutral and melee types. It is weak to electrical, digital, and crystal types. So not a great trade-off there with this typing. It's definitely weak to more typings than it is good against. Where can you catch Hoochick? Again, just like the other two, it is one of the starter choices, but it can be later caught at Arbury Island, just like um, Smazzy. But of course, that is currently inaccessible in early access. And then this thing does evolve into Tentul at level 29. So again, Crystal is the starter Temtem that will evolve at the very end. But those are the three starter Temtem um, off the bat. Like, that's just the normal guide for them all. So which one should you choose? Well, from my personal opinion, Smazzy is probably the least best Temtem to choose at the very, very start. Just from my own experience, it was dying quite a lot, it's a little bit frail, and like I said, it, the types that it's good against, you're not really going to be coming up against at the very start of the game. Now, I've only played up to the first dojo, so maybe after that, Smazzy does get much better, but again, I'm just going over my personal preferences. Um, next up, Hoochick is what my co-op partner took. He is a very, very good starter. He definitely did a lot of damage, especially with Beta Burst. Helped us through a tough battle or two and is definitely a very, very good choice. Now, the only one that I have not used is Crystal. But going over its stats and what it's good against and the fact that you cannot really find Crystal type Temtem early on in the game, I think this is a very valid choice for your starter too. And of course... It doesn't really matter later on in the game. You're going to be able to catch them all regardless. And Crystal is one of the first ones you are going to be able to catch in the wild. So that should definitely play a part in which start you're going to choose. In my opinion, I would go with Hoochick. Just simply because you cannot find it in the wild yet in early access. Mental type Temtems are very difficult to come across. And it will definitely help you out 
very early on in the game. Smazzy is it's good, but not at the very start. And then Crystal is also very good, but you will be able to catch that first out of all three. So in my opinion, I would go with Huchik, but that is just my guide for these three Temtem. If you've played the game and you've picked one of the starters, let me know how you got on with them. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. That is going to be everything for this guide video, though. I really hope it did help you pick uh, your starter or help you gave a little bit of information on which one's good and which ones aren't as good. If you did enjoy, drop a like, leave a comment, which is your favorite Temtem starter, and subscribe if you're brand new. We're going to be doing a bunch more content on this brand new game. It looks very promising. I'm very, very excited to play it. Uh, that's everything from me, though. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Until next time, peace.